what's going on good morning guys we are out here with the sheep and i am putting on the final touches to our fence something i probably should have done a while ago um, we're actually hanging these signs which quite frankly i think are a bit ridiculous um, that we have to do stuff like this and it really got me thinking a little bit about all the things we have to do as farmers, homesteaders, landowners even, um, that protect you uh, against people, um, which ultimately, I'm gonna drop my sign here, and I really think people um, are probably one of the most underrated threats to that of your land, your farm, your homestead. Anyone that owns, it doesn't even need to be a large chunk of land, um, but any type of land situation, there is so much that goes into it um, and it causes additional really unnecessary stress um, as far as you know protecting yourself making sure people aren't coming onto your property um, getting hurt and all sorts of other things like that so then throw animals into the mix and you know you have a whole new element of stress and there goes the planes again it's almost every time i'm doing a video anymore it seems like these planes are flying over but in all reality, there's a lot you have to do to you know, protect people really from themselves and to keep yourself safe as well uh, because somebody comes onto your land and gets hurt and well now you have a big issue. So you can see guys, I am right here along the road. Um, this is our newest pasture. Again, we gotta put these signs up to protect people from their own, uh, we'll call it lack of knowledge today. Uh, not trying to insult anybody, but anybody that would walk up to a wire fence and touch it well <laughs> i don't know sometimes i think you have that coming for you so maybe you should just touch it and find out and you probably will learn the same way as the animals so anyway this is what we're doing this morning we're putting these signs up i consider it to be kind of a waste of time but got to protect yourself you know god forbid somebody does come on and um touches the fence and claims that it it some sort of injury even though any y'all that have ever done this know it's not really gonna hurt you it's just gonna give you a little scare um, but it made me really think about all the things that we do here all the problems I don't want to say problems you know we have good neighbors fortunately around here but um, all of the unwanted stress I guess you would say with people um, not even predators which we talk about so often so let's talk about a few First and foremost, again, we are you know along the road here, so it's not something I would worry too much, and I would honestly say good luck if you're trying to catch my sheep, but we do lock up our gates, um, which again creates just an extra step for us to get in and out. Usually, I mean, I think you saw me in the intro here, I kind of usually just go right over, um, unless I'm carrying something heavy, or have to drive in, but you know, putting locks on your gates, it's just another step you gotta take. So you got your warning signs, you got locks, and then there's something else that I don't know if it just comes, and a lot of you guys probably can relate to this, anyone that owns a decent track of land. People, for some reason, you know, don't really understand boundaries and, and think they can really go wherever they want, um, which is something, it's crazy. I think about this all the time. I never <laughs> would step foot on someone else's property really without permission, um, and, I don't want to say we get a lot of people flirting with that trespassing line, but we get a lot of people that don't really understand really their boundaries. Um, for example, you know, every year um, on top of the ridge line, which is up here, um, we have a nice chunk of woods. You know, we get a couple buddies up here hunting deer, and for whatever reason, every year um, there's always signs of, of somebody kind of wandering we'll call it um over onto our property which isn't the end of the world you know i'm not trying to make enemies here but it kind of goes into that same vein of you know understanding your boundaries and you know if somebody shot a deer and came onto our property hey by all means you know those animals are going to do what they do but you shouldn't be just kind of going wherever you want we also had some issues with uh, some kids around here that just for some reason thought they could ride you know dirt bikes and even lawn mowers um, you know I think that was kind of the last straw uh, when they were actually mowing one of our, our roads out to clear a path for their dirt bike I would like to say 
we'll say it nicely, I would like to say I put the fear of God into them and they really hadn't um, been riding since that point. But the sheer fact that somebody would just take it upon themselves without asking, may I add, um, to just kind of ride on your land is crazy to me. Had they asked, I probably would have said, yeah, go ahead. Um, obviously there's risk there, but again, we're not trying to make enemies. You know, people can um, definitely ask and I'll say either yes or no, but to take it upon yourself is, is pretty crazy. We get unleashed dogs walking around here, which, hey, we live out kind of in a rural area where that's completely fine by me. And if your dog runs on our property, you know, I could care less, but you got to also understand kind of what we have going on here. You know, there's animals, um, you know, our, our chickens, our ducks, you know, run free most of the time. So that's probably the big threat. And we actually did have a, a dog um, take one of our ducks, which was really frustrating to be honest with you. Um, because again, you know, walking by here, you can see what's going on. And again, here we are by the road. We actually just had somebody as I'm talking here, walk by me and their dogs were running free. Fortunately, they're pretty much under control, but you know, the last thing we want is somebody's dog to just come ripping through the fence, which they certainly probably could and take out one of our sheep. So anyway, guys, just a little rant today, not really going anywhere with this, but as I'm hanging these stupid signs, you know, it really came to my mind and it is a pet peeve of mine, if you can't tell. The fact that we even have to do something like this to kind of protect ourselves is, it's really crazy um, in my mind. But anyway, I'm not saying don't let people on your property. That's the last uh, thing I'm trying to get across with this message. By all means, we want to be friendly with our neighbors. And, you know, we understand, you know, if you have dogs and things like that, they're going to go onto your land. You're not necessarily going to control them. But we're also not your government. You know, we're not going to just let open borders for all here. So all I say is just ask for permission. You're going to get a yes or a no. And we all go about our lives. So in the meantime, I got five acres of fence to cover here, hanging some uh, yellow warning tags. It's hot this morning. There's a lot of other things I'd rather be doing, but it's all part of it, guys. It's all part of it. So let me know your thoughts. I'm curious, you know, a lot of you guys that watch um, are small farmers and homesteaders as well. I'm curious to hear kind of what problems you run into um, on the day-to-day -day with humans, not necessarily predators, because again, like I let off with, I think uh, humans are probably one of the most underrated threats um, to your property. So anyway, guys, we'll get to it. Thanks for watching as always, and be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. We'll be with you soon. Take care, guys.